Hey guys, thank you for watching. For those of you who are new, uh, welcome. My channel is Breaking Burke. It is about gardening and houseplants here in Albuquerque, New Mexico, where I live. Uh, I am gonna do some potting up today. These are containers. One way to make sure you can save a little bit of money when you're gardening, especially if you do seasonal gardening in pots around your yard for decoration, is think about it the season before. Uh, now you can go to the store and you can buy pots that are established and look pretty uh, right away. You're usually looking to spend $30 on up for something like that. Uh, I like plants. I don't like to spend money on plants that are just gonna die, that are annuals. So my option is start smaller. You can always grow your plants. And I mean, these will flower till the fall. So, I mean, they say gonna flower, but it is pretty. It does provide some interest. That's a uh, Ipomia or a sweet potato vine. Most of them don't produce sweet potatoes. These are, of course, basic marigolds. And then I do have something else here. These are Dusty Millers. Uh, these are the only thing in my pot that are perennial. So at the end of the season, I could take these out and throw them in the ground or leave them in the pot and enjoy them for another year. I don't know what I'll do yet, but it is an option. That is another way you can save money doing your arrangements. Think ahead. If you want a plant, but you don't know where you're gonna put it, get it and put it in the container. And then once the container is done, you can always take it apart and then plant it in the landscape. You can see these are all different and they all have their own aesthetic about them. But put together, they should have a nice little effect. Some silver, some purple, some green and yellow. Didn't really think this through, I guess. But, you know. We always start with some fertilizer here, uh, you know, if you can. It's best. Now, I don't know that there's going to be a front or back to these, so I'm just going to get it done. You can see the roots there don't look too tangled. And unless it's a perennial, you don't want to go t teasing the roots because it's not going to last long enough for it to be an issue. So just make sure it's not too bad. Dig a little hole in your pot and backfill. Like I said, these are mainly for fall interest. Uh, they will be out in the yard, so they will be seen. They're not going to be a centerpiece yet in the fall or closer to the fall. I'll move them near my door. And you do want to give these room to grow. Uh, remember, like I said, you're buying these cheaper, earlier, and smaller. So you do want to make sure you're not setting them up to fail and don't give them enough room. That wouldn't be nice. And there's another root ball you can see there, hopefully. Some flowers. And I know I probably look like a crazy getting my fall planters ready now. But like I said, we're trying to save money. We're not trying to break the bank doing some gardening. Another way you can save money doing this is you can always start your seeds now for your fall plants. Uh, that does take a little more work. It does take some more time. And, I mean, who has the time or space to be able to keep something like that for months at a time? So, you know, I, I've done it, I do it, but it is harder. It does come with its own set of challenges because, like I said, you have to be diligent, make sure these things aren't drying out. Since I'm putting these in a larger container with more soil, I won't have to water them as often. And I will put them on the side of my yard. They won't become a focal point till the fall and by then I'll have my pot that looks like a $50 pot that I spent six dollars on so just an idea uh, for gardening it's always about thinking in advance uh, looking towards the future and hoping you got one so hopefully this gives you a little bit of inspiration gives you an idea on how to save some money gardening and make it enjoyable thank you for watching